Hello, I'm Tony, the product manager for Broadcast Picks, and today I'm going to walk you through Fluent Macros. Fluent Macros is part of the Fluent Workflow Production Suite offered by Broadcast Picks. Fluent Macros is the industry's only file based macro application, and unlike some of our competitors, which offer sequencers and macros that only recall button pushes and switcher moves, Fluent Macros takes that a step further to also recall the exact file name of your clips and your graphics. So let's take a look. The macros application can be accessed through the broadcast pick switcher application by going through the panel drop down menu and clicking macros or if you're on the keyboard control M. And this is going to open up the macro uh, interface. There's two tabs here on the left, the macro player which we'll talk about later and the macro editor. So if you click on that it's going to open up the interface for the macro editor. The macro editor is where you're going to create modify and save your macro. A great use for Fluent Macros is to create an alpha wipe or an animated transition from one source to another source. This is great in news broadcast or in sporting events when going from live cameras to a replay deck. So to start creating a macro, click on the record button in the macro editor. Now the macro editor is waiting for you to select buttons off your control panel or on your soft panel. So I'm going to select my clip which contains an alpha channel and you'll notice that gets added to the uh, macro list. The file name is also visible and a nice thumbnail showing you a preview also appears in the macro editor. We're going to now assign that clip channel to a key. We're going to add that direct key channel which in this case is key layer 3 on air and when the image is full screen I'm going to do a cut in the background and now take the key off. Now that we've created our macro we can modify the macro by previewing it in the macro editor. If you click play in the motion bar, it will play back your macro. And in this case, it will play back this alpha wipe that we created. And if you notice, the cut that happens in the background happens a little too soon. One of the nice things about the macro editor, you can come into it line by line and adjust the timing and each individual step. So the cut happened a little too soon. Increase the cut time by a few frames. Now that we've adjusted our timing, we can again preview the macro with the play button. And you'll notice that the cut happens exactly when the transition is full screen. So to the viewer, it looks like a nice, elegant transition. Since Fluent Macros are file-based, it's very simple to modify your content with a click of a button. In this case, we'll highlight Clips Channel 2 in the action list and click on the thumbnail, which will bring up a Windows Explorer window. Here's where you can modify your content with custom-made logos and animations. In this case, we'll select the lens flare wipe and click on open. And just like we did earlier, we can play the file and adjust any of the timing to make this macro accurate. Now that we have modified our macro to our liking, you can save the macro by clicking on the Save As button. And this will bring up a typical Windows Save As window and all your Fluent Macros are saved inside the Memories folder on the C drive. And so we're going to add a three digit number to the beginning of this. One, two, three, space, and we'll call this Alpha Wipe. And click on Save. Now that you've saved and named your macro, you can assign it to the macro player by clicking on the macro player tab on the left. And the macro player has four banks. Each bank a, B, C, and GPI can hold up to 100 macros for a total of 400 macros. The last macro bank is designated for your GPIs to be triggered through the external tally box. Let's activate bank A and click on assign buttons. Here you can not only relabel your bank name, so you can have a bank dedicated to alpha wipes, for example, or these could be openers or bumpers. You can now assign your macro to a macro button and this will automatically open up the memories folder where we save the macro, in this case 123 alpha wipe, and we can assign it by clicking on open. And you now have some customization tools here in this assign button window where you can add a custom caption or custom color. In this example, we'll click on purple and if we click on OK, you now see that we've assigned that macro to that macro button. We can now click on Done with Changes, and this returns us back to the macro player. And simply clicking once on any of these macros will activate the macro. And you'll notice as we do this 
the timing information shows up here in the macro player. As you can see, it was pretty simple to create compelling live video at a touch of a button with Fluent Macros from Broadcast Picks. Fluent Macros can also be used in other applications, for example, in government applications, where you trigger your Sony, Panasonic, or Hitachi camera control to recall a preset, bring up a graphic of the council members' names, and then bring that all onto program at a touch of a button. If you want more information on Fluent Macros, feel free to check out our website at www.broadcastpix.com. Thanks for listening.